Welcome to Everlook, everyone. So we finally made it to Winter Spring. We're in the neutral town of Everlook here in vanilla World of Warcraft. And uh, we have a lot of quests we can do here. There's, there's actually quite a few in Everlook to grab. So are we there, Yeti? We're gonna pick this up. We have to collect some thick Yeti furs. That's actually a pretty easy quest for the most part. I have mail. Why do I have mail? Hey, uh, ooh, uh, our king's blood, soul, art of fire, soul, nice, nice. Hey, I'm not talking, hey, this is kind of bizarre and kind of proves you live in a very small world. So I messaged you thinking about to help me find these servers. I said I would watch your vanilla series on YouTube. Well, I'm hold my name was mentioned on YouTube, and thanks for that. That's not why I'm now missing you. I watched your latest upload episode 104, and I noticed you are even in my guild, gear. I've been in guild since level 11, so I'm not talking. Keep the good work. Oh, hey, Super Sham. Uh, we're in the same guild. That's really funny. I didn't realize that. Uh, so there we are. <laughs> anyway, uh, luck be with you with another quest. We're going to collect 10 Frost Mall Shards. This quest is tougher to do solo, but I think as a warlock we can do it. Ah, uh, uh, Urseus is a named polar bear that we are apparently going to go kill, which is kind of sad. There's a lot of snow today. Wow. I think this quest takes us to uh, Darushire. We're, we're Darushire? Darushire? We're not going to worry about that quest. That is in... What is my frame rate? I feel like it is jumping all over the place as my camera shoots around the screen. Uh, I think that's it for quests. Is that right? I think that's it. Okay. So... Uh, da, 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 what are we gonna look up? Are we there yet? Each other in Winter Spring, Ursius of the Shard, and Luck be with you. And also Wild Guardians, I think, are all quests we can easily work on today. So, uh, yeah, Darashire is all the way in Eastern Plaguelands. We're not going there today. Uh, Ursius, Ursius, where is Ursius? Uh, the Northwest. In the snowy mountains of Winter Spring, the Northwest, a skilled hunter stalks his prey. He roams the sloping hills to the Northwest to Everlook. Alright, I think it's... yes. Okay, I was gonna say, it's not very far away from what I recall. Let's go grab him. Uh, Ursius should be a pretty quick kill for us. You know, I've noticed recently, every time I log back in, well, my map seems to be like... perfectly in the middle. It's just sort of strange. Uh, like, like the zoom is, is perfectly centered instead of zoomed all the way out, which is what I always prefer. Come to think of it, I pretty much always prefer always to have more vision instead of less vision, or more visibility instead of less visibility. You know, let's go ahead and kill this guy. Ooh, I was stunned. That's sad. I'm gonna boomerang him. That didn't really do much for us. That's okay. <laughs> we need to kill this guy anyway for a quest, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, we also need to kill. Oh, we didn't need to kill him, but we need to harvest the Yeti furs from him. Uh, I don't know how we aggro this guy, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, throw some dots on that too. And these are actually kind of lower level than I remember. I was thinking they'd be higher level for some reason, but I guess this is the right level they should be. It's just like a 55 to 60 zone, so most of the mobs are gonna be probably in the lower end of that, especially in the center of the zone. Down here, higher level mobs. Up here, I think some higher level mobs. But all we're really doing is working on just every quest we can out here. And since that so happens that we uh, see not only the Yeti that we need, also, if you can skin it, when you skin these guys, there's a chance they'll drop the Thick Yeti fur. Because Thick Yeti fur, it is, I think, am I right? I think they can drop it, even though it's a quest item. I think skinners can get it from skinning them. Uh, it's not tradable because it's a quest item, but I think you can grab it. Now, our soul shards are rather low. We have four, and three of those we just acquired. So I'm uh, kind of rapidly working on getting some more some more soul shards for ourselves uh, da, da, da. when your frame rate is above the frame rate of your monitor you know that's what's kind of causing some jitteriness uh, because when your frame rate goes above the actual maximum frame rate your monitor allows I th think they can cause some kind of I don't know jittery nature of things Actually, so my monitor actually can go up to 165 hertz. It's currently at 144, but when I went to 165, I found like the top left corner of my screen would like flicker very rarely, but maybe like once every hour of use, it would just flicker once. And I kind of got nervous that I was like wrecking my my 
monitor, so I, I turned off that, that 165 setting, which was like considered overclocking the monitor, which I don't know how that works, but so, so be it. Oh, hey! Oh my gosh! I totally forgot. I just yelled in the monitor. I think, oh, it's gone. Wait, is it back if I go back up? The Max Ramos instance is opening soon, and with that comes some of these cool invasions. Let me check with the guild. Hey, are the revamped quests in Lights Hope Chapel up yet? Because if they are, maybe we should be heading over there. Now, where the heck is Urseus? This punk. He's the one I want. It's such an easy quest. I just want to find him, kill him, and turn that one in. Um, let's see. Today is the 9th of September. Oh, hey. No lives matter. I'm gonna go and say hi to this guy. I hope he doesn't kill me. Get some skill ups. What's this guy's name? Juck Gorg. I like Juck Gorg. That's a cool name. Or a uh, pet. Woodwalker. Uh, no one in the guilds replied. Sad times. So in in a uh, in modern WoW, you can actually limit your four. You can limit your frames per second with settings built into the game, which is super nice. And so, like, for me, I limited it to, like, 135, so it never hits the maximum of my monitor. Uh, in Vanilla Wild, that is not a setting, so I think there's probably a way to manage it, but I don't... Oh, man, I meant to... I meant to... eat some of his, uh, souls there, but I missed that. Ah, Ursius can also be over there. Hmm. Does he roam? I don't actually know if Urseus roams or not. Well, in the meantime, we're going to keep killing mobs. So I decided, uh, because... So, uh, the long story short is, today's the 9th of September. This video won't be up for at least 4 or 5 days. You'll probably be seeing this around the 13th of September, I'm going to guess. Got a little bit of a backlog with my videos, unfortunately. Uh, so, the point being... I don't know why I'm bothering emulating this guy. Is that on the 16th, I believe, next Ramos opens. And between now and then, they have quests that start opening up and certain events start occurring, such as this giant floating necropolis and things. It's it's actually really cool. It's been gosh, it's been e e like years since I've seen the next Ramos event occur. Uh where else can Ursius be? Or apparently Ursius can be like all over the place here. I'm really skeptical that he's in that many different places. Let's just check out this cave. I don't really think it would be here, but sh sure, why not? Okay. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to look him up, but I'm super sad to see this event, and I, I kind of want to go to Light's Hope Chapel because in Eastern Plaguelands, Light's Hope Chapel is revamped leading up to the next Ramos patch. Um, and by revamping it, they actually added a lot of quests to it. So it's actually a, a recent, like a reasonably good quest hub. Whereas Light's Hope Chapel was fine previously, like before the next Ramos patch. I think the next Ramos patch was 1.11, uh, 1.11, I should say. I always call them 1.1, one, one, but it's really 11. Ursius, let's find Ursius. I've got, uh, I'm looking on my phone right now. Oops. Let's drain that soul. Okay, Ursius, where is this guy? Ah, so Questy is way, way, way off. He is nowhere really near where this says he is. I'll show you where he's at. <laughs> I'm really glad I didn't trust Questy blindly, or not for too long, because that would have been a pain if I was digging all over the place. Like, so Ursius does not come over here. At least it doesn't seem like it. The Winterfall Runner. There's a couple of them. Let's get this guy. I think he won't drop anything for us. Uh, I think you have to have the quest to make him actually do anything. But I can't remember if he might drop a quest, an item that starts a quest anyway. I, I just really can't quite recall. But this guy, this this, this runner, there's, there's two of them here, which is kind of a glitch. It's going to be one at a time. They uh, will... Let's see, is he dropping anything for us? Nope. They're involved with the quest line, basically, and that involve, uh, that's one of the quests that's related to, I think we have to finish even this Wild Guardians quest first, possibly. And basically, once you finish one of those quests, you'll be able to um, 
I'm going the wrong way here. You'll be able to grab an item from the Winterfall Runner and then turn in and complete a quest. That's basically the story. It's not much to it. Uh, the point being that we don't have that quest, so they don't do anything for us. Now, Ursius apparently paths from around here down below Everlook. Even though it says northwest, apparently he is northeast. That Acropolis is looking rather... Whoa, 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 whoa. I just like <laughs> put my camera on. That Necropolis off in the distance looking rather scary up there. Oh, dang it. Uh, I'm just gonna fear this guy. I don't really wanna fight him. I don't have a need to uh, fight him. Someone on Twitter told me that they like my videos and they recommended that I get some like people to help with the. make it look a little bit fancier, I guess they said, kind of my videos. Like, kind of upgrade the visual quality of my videos. Not so much the the uh, graphics in the game, but add more to my videos, like um, maybe for like my Legion videos, putting like a, a little decorative thing around my webcam or something, I don't know, they didn't really give an example. But I'll be honest, with the vanilla videos especially, I really really go for what I consider a like a pure experience, where I just don't want anything on the screen that isn't related to the game. Um, even now, I know I've like modified my UI pretty significantly. We're never gonna find Arceus. <laughs> I know I've modified my UI pretty significantly, but I just don't, um... We should go find Denova. I think we should. You know, I just don't want to mess with the screen. Like, I, I like having it be kind of clear and representative of what Vanilla Well looks like and not have my face plastered all over it or any other animations or anything. Um, on my Legion videos, obviously I have, if you watch those, my webcam's up. That's about all I do to it, but I put my face on there. But, you know, I started this series without ever showing my face, and it's not because I was hiding, but honestly, I knew so little about Let's Plays and video uploads on YouTube and streaming that I really had no idea what was considered standard. I didn't realize that a lot of people put their face on their videos. Like, I, I just didn't realize that was a thing. So, it wasn't until like six months into it that I honestly like looked around and realized I was about the only one that doesn't put my face on my videos for Let's Plays, but honestly, I think I still prefer, significantly prefer that, because like when I'm watching, as much fun as it is to watch people's face while I, they're playing, it for some games, kind of nice just to let things go and just uh, see the game without stuff thrown on top of it. I don't know, maybe it's a, this is like a philosophical thing, right? There's nothing wrong either direction, but, you know, it is what it is, and that's kind of what I like. Who is texting me? I don't know. Uh, that's a Twitter update. It's annoying. So, uh, today's Saturday, and I spent the morning, my wife's at work, so I, I uh, I'm playing later than normal. Usually I'm playing like 5 a.m. Today is actually it's around uh, noonish. So I took my wife to work, drove her, then I parked the car. I worked across the street from her. So I uh, went into my lab and spent a few hours in lab this morning getting a few things started up for the next week. Uh, and what I'm trying to do, a lot of different projects right now, and it's just, it's gotten a little bit crazy in my lab recently. Um, I feel like I've been firing on all cylinders. But it's, it's kept me busy, to say the least, and uh, I've been going in, trying to go in a little, little more weekends. Ooh. Ooh. Folks, we have an elemental invasion going on right now. If you've never seen this before, it's kind of a cool thing. Um, I want to show you a little bit about this. So what we've got going on here are these big, glowy uh, portals. You can kind of see it's like a, my, where my mouse is. This, I don't know what you want to call it. Um... These portals, I would call them little portals. And we have an elemental invasion going on. And all these water elementals, a oh gosh, a lot of water elementals, a lot of water elementals are out here doing their thing. And they just keep summoning, they just keep spawning basically. There's tons of them, right? Are they immune to immolate? They are not. That's surprising. They're, they're made of water, not immune to immolate. Uh, but what's nice is they have a very high chance of, here we go, dropping Essence of Water, right? Uh, 50% chance for us at the moment, which is not actually realistic, but it's like not consistently that high, but that's what we're getting at the moment. Uh, 
I, I, I like to kill these once in a while. By the way, Festering Rash is an awful disease. Minus 22 to all stats. That's sick. That Frost Shock just hit me really hard. Like, hard enough that I feel like I'm going to die if I don't heal up soon. And then that one, of course, <laughs> we go from getting uh, Elemental Water to getting 15 Copper. But we're getting 600 gold per kill, which is... Oh, sorry. That would be incredible. 600 health per kill, which uh, is giving me reason enough to want to kill at least a few of these. That's boomerang this guy. Wham. Hit him for a solid 37 there or something, or 62 it looked like maybe, I forget exactly what it said. There's like three numbers popped up and I don't know which one is which. But let's kill a few of these just for fun. So the elemental evasion will end when I think there's like a big guy that you can kill, I forget. Also getting a lot of enchanted water, which is kind of junky. Honestly, it's really junky. Um, wow, these guys are so... I don't think there's supposed to be quite this many here. Although maybe just because the server isn't wildly populated right now. I'll check the population moment. And maybe just because there's not a lot of people here killing them. But it sure does seem like there's quite a few. So there's about eh, 1,200 people online. It's pretty solid. But no one's here farming these at least. So that's good for us. And these elemental invasions, there's four of them, I've talked about them because we, we also ran into the one in, oh, where was it, Ungoro? We saw the fire one. I don't remember where else we were, but I think we've seen, there's also an earth and an air one. Oh, we saw the air one in Silithus. The only one we're missing now is the earth invasion. I think it's earth elementals. And earth elementals, I, I don't remember where they spawn at, but that's the only one we haven't seen yet. Um, oh, hold on. I almost died there. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? So I, I uh, don't... Can I... Hold on. You know, I looked away for a moment. And I was silencing my phone. I looked away. How, how did our Voidwalker die? Was he that low on health? I guess I wasn't paying attention. My bad. Um, anyway, I'm trying to get my health stones back and uh, let's tap again and bandage. I might stop killing these guys after one more because they're actually kind of wrecking us, to be honest. I'm just hoping to get like one more essence of water. Um, but like. I don't know if you guys agree, but that frost shock they do is really painful. Like, seriously, it hits hard. Watch how much health it takes out of me. 777 damage from a frost shock. I could see Tangmoth have died from that. Like, I, I could honestly see how maybe they frost shocked him down. And he just wasn't regenerating between fights enough and died. But we're getting out of here. This is not an efficient use of our time. Uh, it's kind of fun though. I, I think it's fun. It's kind of a nice little detour for us. Uh, how do we get out of here? I think we can climb up here maybe? Should we kill Melita the gnome? Mm, nah. Too low level. I'd feel like a bully. How, can I get up here or not? I, it looks like I should be able to, right? Like, doesn't that look... Let's see if I can show it better. Okay, that looks not that steep, but apparently it is. All right, well, we'll we'll just go down a little bit farther. We'll be fine. All right, I get Albies. We do need these. Let's go ahead and kill it. So all this episode is gonna be is mainly killing a lot of things, right? We need to kill Yetis. We need to kill Ursias. We need to kill Albeasts. We need to kill. I don't want to kill Frost Malls, but um, the shards do drop from the giants down there, which we probably can kill on our own. So we might. Might be worth it. How's our bag space? It's okay. <laughs> we got a couple slots. What I'm planning to do though is head west because I'd like to see what Denova has for us for quest. If we complete the uh, Trouble in Winter Spring quest, I, I think she's gonna have us just kill like fur bogs up here. I think. I would like to add it would be a cool effect if when our fell steed ran on the snow. If it left to just like small little imprints, if it actually like melted some of the snow, considering our Felsteed is literally on fire, or his, his, her, its 
its hooves are literally on fire. So it would be cool if it had a little extra effect there, but that might be asking quite a lot from the developers back in 2003 and then 2004 when they launched the game uh, to really implement melting snow. Like that's, that's asking quite a lot, right? Now, uh, we're, we're close to Genova. She's way down here, but we're gonna kind of start veering towards that direction. Uh, Timber Maw Post, 560 experience. We're getting quite a bit of experience just from running around. Uh, honestly, we're getting like 500, 600 experience per little discovery we make here. Uh, you, you will notice that the entire map has always been shown in all my videos because uh, Cartographer reveals the entire map. Now, I think there is an option. Um, let me see, where is it? Act. Ah, see? Now it, it shows, uh... This is all we've actually seen. If you, like, show the whole map, is like what the thing normally looks like. That's all we've actually explored here. So we have quite a bit more if we go down this way or this way. That will result in giving us, um, more experience. But I like having this active so I can see the whole zone. Because it makes things easier. I mean, it's, it's kind of... I don't know, maybe I'm a little bit lame for doing that, but I like having that whole thing shown. And then I like having the transparency because I think it looks much, much nicer. Uh, I actually kind of like the way this looks like a crescent moon, like a little hunchback on it or something, right? Kind of like just the shape of winter spring. It's interesting. All right, mithril deposits. Let's uh, snatch up some of these, or one of these, I guess, is all it is. Uh, if we can get to it. I feel like it's one of those ones to be hard to get to. Oh, no, not, not too bad. Unfortunately, Mithril is also yellow for us. I mentioned this last time, it got downgraded to yellow, but we got lucky here and we got a skill up. Now, I sure wish I could actually upload these videos in higher frames per second than 60, but as far as I know, YouTube doesn't allow higher than 60 FPS, at least not yet. I'm sure someday they'll, uh, they'll ramp that up, but for the time being, that's as good as it gets for us. Okay. Enchant Cloak Subtlety. Currently, enchant a cloak to decrease threat caused by the wearer by 2%. Useful. Not. You might think it's subtlety as in stealth, like a rogue, but mm, nope, not quite. Uh, De Nova. Trouble in Winter Spring. Complete quest. 850 experience. Wow. So nice, so nice. But she has a couple quests for strange sources. All the Nova Stone instructions and report back. Ah. Okay, I know this quest. It's convenient because we actually need to go down here anyway for these frost mall shards, so it kind of works out. Dream sources, threat of the Winterfall. So this is the quest I was thinking we would have, where we have to kill a bunch of Winterfall people over here, and uh, or Winterfall fur bogs, maybe they're not people. Is that insulting to say that? But... I don't know, maybe that is kind of mean. Anyway, so the fur bogs are all over the place here, and they have like little huts they kind of like congregate around. So we basically can, we'll like clear through each group of huts and then move along. Looks like I'm not the only one here. I don't see anything though. Hmm. Again, these guys won't be too hard for us to kill. Um, in fact, they're quite, they're almost too low for us. Almost, yeah. We'll do this quest. I still think it's worth it. It's, it's a pretty easy quest. It should go quickly. And these guys. For the most part, um, they, they shouldn't be too much of a threat to us, which is kind of nice. Uh, let's do that. So what do we get? 400 experience piece? Okay, that's not so bad. At least for this guy's 53. This guy will give us about 500 maybe. Yep, 510. Uh, you know I've played this game too long when I'm able to like roughly estimate, <laughs> est make estimates, estimate the amount of... Uh, experience we're going to get from a given mob. Fairy fire completely removes my armor. That sucks. That actually really stinks. Uh, that's nasty. Well, so we have 24 fur bogs to kill. And it's going to take a while, but as I said, they're not overly difficult mobs to kill, so it's probably worth it. And my plan is kind of just to dot them a bunch and sort of let Tangmoth finish them off if possible. Let's fear this one. And let's kill this guy. 
I just don't want two of them hitting me at the same time, you know? Like, that's kind of scary. Yeah, that'd be good to avoid having both of them hit me at the same time. Especially with the stupid, although I guess our carry fires ran out, but even with the festering rash, we're taking a little more damage, probably. Uh, we will need to take a break in a moment, regenerate some of our health and mana, um, and also buff up our demon armor and soulstone resurrection, but for the moment we're okay. Let's see. I know one of these guys is hard to find. Like, one of the types of to of uh, shamans we have to kill, shamans, one of the types of winterfall we have to kill, are actually kind of hard to find. I think it might be the totemics that are the ones that are hard to find. Uh, I don't really remember, unfortunately. Okay. Saw some respawns back here already. Den Watchers. Okay, maybe those are the ones. I, I know, I'm just, what I'm saying is I know what's going to end up happening is we're going to kill, like, the entire group of Winterfall Furbogs over here. They won't respawn yet, and we'll end up seeing that we have, like, most of the Pathfinders and most of the Totemics done, and there'll be, like, five more Den Watchers to kill or something. It's, it's something like that, where there's just, like, an uneven number of these guys, and as a result, you end up kind of... That's Boomerang Sky. Wow. We have never gotten a stun. It says has a chance to stun or disarm them. To my knowledge, we've never stunned or disarmed them. Uh, at all. Like, it just hasn't happened ever, as far as I know. I don't know what the odds are. But it seems pretty low, I guess, what I'd say. Uh, more stuff in our bags, okay. Now, are there any more furballs over here? I don't see any. That's a Yeti. I know there's more around here, a little bit to the, to the east, I think, but I usually clear all the way over here to the west, this side that we're on, and then, uh, so back by that, from the little hot spring is, start clearing there, work your way over east from there, and usually you can clear, like, pretty efficiently that way. That's my advice, anyway, is to start from that side and work over to the direction, kind of, where my cursor is pointing back there. <laughs> Let's see, is there anything else up here? I think that's it. Looks like it. Alright, let's heal up a little bit, get ready to rebuff in a moment. You know, I wasn't originally planning to do this quest today, but... Ooh, Winterfall Firewater, that's a nice thing. Uh, we won't use it, but... Scorpok Pincer, oh, do we want to keep that? Maybe. Um, Mystery Mate we can get rid of. Empty Venom Sack we can get rid of. I'm just trying to clean out a few... We are not going to use Enchanted Waters. They are just too bad. Like, they're just... I'm level 59. I'm not using level 25 water. I'm too good for that. <laughs> I refuse to use it. I would rather sit and do nothing and not drink anything than fall down to the level of drinking level 25 water. I refuse. Just in a moment here, we're going to have to rebuff. Uh, let's dot this dude up. I have no mana, do I? That's sad. I have enough to shadow bolt this down. Yeah, there we go. Good. Okay. So, six of eight Pathfinders. The Pathfinders definitely are not one of the ones that I was worried about. I was saying is one's hard to find. That is not the one. Empty? What is that? Empty Firewater Flask. Is that him? It begins a quest. Okay. The vial you picked up from the Winterfall Furball is empty, but you can detect a few drops of a strange green liquid inside. It almost glows. That's like the uh, Winterfall Firewater. The Nova can tell us more. Of course she can, because the Nova hangs out with fur bogs all the time, obviously, as evidenced by her being very, very close to them. I'm gonna siphon all of Tangmoth's mana off them real quick. It's not much for us, but it's a little bit, so we'll take it. And let's go ahead and make a new soul stone in the middle of this fight, which is super inefficient use of our resources, probably. And let's boomerang this guy. Bam, got him with the boomerang, nice. I love Lincoln's boomerang. That thing's awesome. Alright, I'm gonna need to, uh... I'm gonna tap a few times and bandage here in a moment. So what I want to do is get... Let's see. I'd like to get my uh, demon armor back up. Is that the final rank that we have? Ooh, look at Tangmoth. We never look at his stats here, do we? I, like, never ever pulled it up. But he's looking good. 
Uh, let's finish this guy off. Oh man, what was the name? What was the name of my Voidwalker before my character transferred servers? Sardok? Is that right? I'm so used to Tang Moth now. I've, I've had way more episodes with Tang Moth than I did with Sardok. Uh, Tang Moth has been around since like level 35 or so. And that's we we have fewer levels with him, but uh oh, I don't want to fight all these. Uh, well, this will finish up all my Pathfinders at least, which is nice. I'm gonna tap and then heal and then do this. So we're done with Pathfinders, so now we just need to kill Den Watchers, a lot of Den Watchers, and Totemics, which is maybe easier said than done. Um, just because there's not a lot of them, unfortunately. Um, Del has a Totemic, at least. The Pathfinder, we don't need that. Okay, let's go get, get this guy while we're looking around for more. Some doubts going. I saw something up here. Pathfinder. Are there more around the corner up here? No, I don't see anything else up there. That's too bad. Well, <laughs> guess we're going back down here. This guy drop anything for us? Nope. This guy did. So, uh, do we do we want to go to Denova now? I feel like we might, but at the same time, I'm not really convinced that she gives us anything. I guess I don't see any more. I think we cleared the camp. This is what happens. You kind of clear all the camps and there's like nothing left. And then there's just no mob left to kill. Uh, we don't need Pathfinders. We don't need Pathfinders. And for whatever reason, there's a huge amount. Oh, there's a Den Watcher. Let's grab that. There's a huge amount of Pathfinders and never enough Den Watchers. Although they are respawning, so that's really good. Okay, let's just stay and finish it then. I was going to go back and turn in that little uh, empty fire water flask quest. But since I see at least, you know, the last two Totemics, we need three Totemics here another Den Watcher. It's probably worth it just to go ahead and uh, kill everything right now. Another Firewater. These things sell for a decent amount too. They're actually, like on the auction house, they're they're definitely worth grabbing. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, I did not mean to fight both those. Okay, let's just for the most part focus on this one for now. Uh, should go down pretty pretty fast. Yeah, so the firewaters sell because they, they're a separate buff from like everything else. They don't count towards um, like they don't they stack with potions, what I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to say. They stack with potions. So for rogues, they're incredible. Like for rogues and for warriors, they're incredible. And they last for 20 minutes. That's a pretty good duration, honestly. It's like, I don't know what, you're, what you'd expect, but like a 20 minute buff a 45 attack power, that's significant in vanilla well. Oh no, 35 attack power, excuse me. And even better than that, the best thing about them is they make you larger. So it's like an elixir of giant growth where they get bigger. That's the best part. And it's actually really nice for tanks to have it because it makes them a little bit easier to scout out for the healers, you know? Like they're not quite as hidden that way. Uh, okay, let's get this other Den Watcher. So I didn't even realize there was a Den Watcher in the, the one we just fought, I didn't even see it there. And I was kind of feel stupid now that I, didn't, that I realized I didn't see them there because they're larger than the rest of the... Uh, I don't know why I'm making health right now, it's a bad decision. They're larger than the rest of the Furbogs. So you think I would have seen it, but just just slightly hidden. Now, of course, I have no mana because I'm making a health stone, so I literally just wand this guy down for the rest of this. Uh, the Winterfall Den Watcher. Okay, so we still need three more Den Watchers after this. And one more Totemic, which I see right over here. Can I just loot this guy? No, we're good. Okay. Uh, how many... I'm gonna make up five bandages, since we happen to have... I mean, like, we, we might as well make them, since we've got exactly the right amount. Uh, really sticky glue. One of these days, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna save it for a good moment. I don't know when, what that moment's gonna be, but someday. And, okay, I think we're good enough. We can go and attack this guy now, we'll be fine. So we're done with the Pathfinders, and we're down to this last Totemic. We're gonna kill him here. Uh, so we'll need just three more Den Watchers. It actually seemed like 
Not sure that where, they, where to find them. What, what's the easiest way to find the rest of the Den Watchers we need? But I th think our best bet is to kind of wait for these here to respawn, basically. Like, I, and I think there's one to the left, or sorry, to the east of us. Um, You know down here, this group is advertising for a pug molten core, they need more people. Sometimes, even though it says they need uh, pre-best-in-slot, so pre-raid best-in-slot, honestly, a lot of times they would take someone like me, if I said, hey, I'm a warlock, I'll bring a soul stone to, for the tank, um, I, I've done the raid a bunch, but my gear is bad. If, they're, if they have space, a lot of times I'll just take you anyway, because truthfully, I'm only going to help. Even if my DPS is low, it's better than no DPS at all. And having an extra soul stone, that's always a perk. <laughs> Passing out health stones, that's always a perk. I'd just be like, hey, I've got a bag full of soul shards. They will definitely take me along, even though I'm way undergeared. Uh, however, I'm not attuned to Molten Core, so yeah. We do not sew. Hmm. Funny kill then. Hey, how's it going? You know, I don't need this mob, but, uh, sure we'll help out. Mostly because what I need are the last three Den Watchers, and I think it, I might as well help this guy out. Like, it should overall speed things up if I... I mean, this, at least this way he won't tag things I need, right? So... Makes sense to me. Oh, let's go for this guy. Pathfinder, don't need that. Well, uh, huh. that shaman is nuking us things well. Like, really, that thing died fast. Well, I'm getting a little bit of experience at least. So we're about, how many bars are down here? Like, if you, I never ever actually counted them. Uh, I'm gonna do this real quick. So what I'm saying is, look at the experience bar. I never know what one bar means. That It's obviously not 10%, maybe 5%. I could see it being 5%. Let's find out. I'm gonna count. Twenty. I guess I might have known that a long time ago, but I definitely have forgotten. So there's twenty bars down here. So if you fill up all twenty, obviously you level up, right? So uh, one bar would mean five percent. So we're about ten. We're about like twelve and a half percent through level fifty-nine, and slash played we are we have played one hour and 16 minutes this level so at this rate we would need to play a you know roughly roughly um let's see we need to play eight times more 12 and a half percent times eight is a hundred percent so given that um eight hours 10 hours so we so in 10 total hours we will ding level 60 at our current rate of gaining experience uh, so with that we've already put in an hour and 16 minutes so we've got about eight hours and 45 minutes left before we ding now to be fair most of that entire leveling so far was done in the last 38 minutes because uh, we started a lot of it was like traveling over here originally so given that uh but probably, it's probably faster than that. I don't think it's gonna, I'd be very surprised if it takes us 10 hours total from 59 to 60. I'm guessing it's gonna be like seven hours. It kind of depends how much time I waste doing stupid stuff. Ooh, a Den Watcher. Okay, let's go get it. Let's loot this guy, I guess. Oh, I had nothing to loot. Yeah, the Den Watchers. I just need three more Den Watchers. I really hope there's there's like two here. I hope there's a third one that spawns over here, and then we're good. I'm definitely tagging all these because I do not want to risk these stupid things getting tagged by someone else. I'd be so angry. Not actually angry, but like slightly angry. <laughs> you know, like I'm not really angry, but it's like, oh man, what the crap? Like I have to deal with this this junk again. Okay, we're done. Nice. Oh, we'll be done in 15 seconds if I don't die. <laughs> 
Apparently a shaman pulled the aggro off us. I guess he chain lightning there. Okay, do you need any help? Or can I leave? Yeah, that sounds a little passive aggressive, but... You know, I'm just trying to say, does he need anything? Can I help? Does he anything I can do for him? Otherwise, he'll be fine on his own, right? He should be fine. Okay. Okay, it's not responding. Take care and good luck. Which generally, I assume, means he doesn't understand what I'm saying. Uh, but honestly, uh, truthfully, he. Oh, see, man. Okay, he does understand. <laughs> He'll be totally fine. Like, seriously, he will have no problem finishing that quest. He was nuking so faster than I was. Uh, at least it seemed like he was nuking it faster. So, I will leave him be. We've got a couple quests to turn in, which I'm excited about. Winterfall Firewater, okay. What's on your mind? Strange sources, nope, wrong quest. Another Winterfall, complete quest. 8500 experience, nice. And Winterfall Firewater. Complete quest. 4200 experience. Cool. So we are now 20% through our level. Great. Search the Deadwood, Deadwood Furball Camp in Northern Fellwood for a clue. Ugh. Dang it. Uh, so this one's annoying. So you have to run through the cave to get back into Fellwood. It's actually a really easy quest. I actually have a video. <laughs> of, of all things, I'm not going to do this quest now. I'll tell you why. But I actually have a... Um, I actually have a quest, a video, sorry, a video, I think it's called, like, Friendship, a WoW story or something. It's, like, a really short, like, one, two-minute clip where I'm doing that quest. Like, that's the whole purpose of that quest, if I remember right, is... I hope the whole purpose of that video, if I remember right, is doing that quest, where, long story short, I am a... I guess I'm an Alliance character in that video, and I run into a Horde character, and we work together to, like, clear it. It's, it's really... I thought it was, like, a really fun experience, and... A lot of times, you, you probably have experienced this if you've ever played WoW, vanilla WoW or Legion, anything in between. It's hard to communicate across factions. It, it just is. Uh, but once in a while, it just... Whoa, look at that massacre down there. Oh, hey, there's more Winterfalls down... Or uh, more of those uh, fur bogs down here. I didn't realize that. But you, basically, the, the story is that sometimes you'll manage to communicate and, you know, use, like, emotes or with something, I don't know what, but it just works. And you find someone that is not aggressive, that doesn't attack you right away, and you work on something together. And I've had that experience on and off for years in WoW. It's not something that happens commonly, but sometimes when it happens, whenever it happens, it's such a cool moment where it's like, wow, we can't communicate very well. We could kill each other. One of us usually is stronger than the other enough. They could like probably kill him or at least be a good threat to each other. And then somehow we... Uh, come to terms, <laughs> we don't fight, and we complete something together, we clear some mobs together, it's so cool when that happens. There's that Winterfall Runner again, still, uh, we have to complete the, uh, the quest, Falling to Corruption, this is the one, complete that, I think, and then she sends us to find the Winterfall Runner. I just don't feel like going to Fellwood right now, uh, but at some point, possibly. Can we see the Necropolis from here? I don't... Yep, there it is, and it just, just barely pops up every once in a while. You can kind of see the water, the, the ooze coming down. Uh oh, I'm dead. The Gilded Rose. Oh, never mind. Huh. Anyway, so I made a short clip, basically a two-minute video called Friendship that's all about this little, uh, I think it was an undead warlock. I don't remember. It's an undead something, I think. Basically a friend I made as a little gnome warrior. And it just reminded me of it because this quest is that's the quest it was for. Ooh, Curse of Agony. I don't even flip every three seconds. Eh, that's not a deal. I'm trying to, you may have noticed, take like a shortcut, like cut through here. Because what I want to work on is, well, really two quests, but there's one main one. I don't know if we can get around this. Maybe I'm already doomed to fail. Uh, the main thing I want to work on is discover Dark Whisper Gorge, the Strange Sources quest, because it's a very simple and quick quest. You literally just have to run down there. Um, and then I guess we have to go back to the Nova. It's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Now, the real cool thing is that 
there's a quest we have down here for the frost mall shards and normally the frost mall shards are things you can loot like they're crystals that are minerals basically kind of you don't have to mine to get them but you just basically run up and, and loot them it's easy enough what is this uh well uh while i'm at it i guess i'm gonna kill this guy because it's eating me. <laughs> There's Lan Lange. I don't know what that is. Lan Lange. Lan Lange. What is Lan Lange? I have no idea who that, that's a... I mean, that's clearly a playable character. But I don't really know why there's a playable character level 1 all the way over here. Isn't that strange? I feel like I've done something very, very terrible by killing that guy, by the way. Like, I feel like... I'm going to get destroyed in a moment, and I probably should run as soon as I can. But I'm kind of stuck in combat here, so I can't do that. So I'm trying to kill this guy as fast as I can. Oh, this guy keeps popping out of line of sight, like going over the cliff there. It's kind of annoying. Um, so I was gonna kill this, heal up a little, and then get out of here. Okay, let's get him. Get him. Take him off. Oh, a thousand experience. Dang. I mean, it's a, it was an elite. It was kind of a beefy guy, so it's fair enough, but. Wow, I don't expect that much experience. Let's get an epic, come on. Awesome, nope, not awesome loot. Sad times. I wasn't really expecting anything good there, but I was kind of hoping. <laughs> Why was there a night elf up here? It's so weird to me. I'm sure the person's gonna log in and be like, who the, like who found me up, like who finds someone up there and kills them? It's such an obscure spot to be at. Okay, it's gonna happen. We, are gonna mount up and get back on uh, I don't know if I can make that jump <laughs> I'm like I'm kind of low on health <laughs> so it might be good if I don't fall down there I've got soul stone up that's good enough okay these are uh, these, these guys do frost shock stuff you saw that so I really don't want to get frost shocked frost shicken frost or shook Frost shocked. If I can help him. Oh, please don't let that guy. I forget if they don't do it. Frost shock, I don't think. Winter Spring Screecher. This is the owl we saw in uh, An Anchorage in Silithus a few, like maybe three or four episodes ago, just in the road. And it, it's bizarre. That, that mob should not have been there. It was definitely a mistake. Some, something was wrong with that. I have no idea why that mob was just hanging there, but. Yeah, should not have been there. Ren Shala. Level 58. Night Elf NPC. I don't think I've seen this before. But I would like to kill it. Owl Wing Thicket discovered. Do we get experience for killing Alliance NPCs? I don't think we do, right? We can get honor depending on the type of NPC, I think, but that's only me, that's only in Battlegrounds. Oh, hey, we did get experience. That was cool. I hope no one needed Ran Shala, because she just got, I don't know, killed. Yeah. I am just like destroying Alliance today. First level one, then NPC. I am just a straight, a straight, a mad lad today. Okay, we're just going to go down farther until we discover... Dark Whisper Gorge. I think we're gonna get pretty far down here. We don't have to cross this bridge, I, th I think. We have to cross the bridge. And these are the guys, these Frost Mall Preservers, they are the ones that can, I think they can drop the things we need for the Frost Mall Shards, but so here's what I actually do. A lot of times, so this is, uh, I can't see it from here. Maybe if I scoot up a little. This thing, that is what we need, the Frost Mall Shard. And they're just like little crystals that are all over the place, but but to, but to get them, they're kind of... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to hit F9. They're kind of guarded, obviously, by these things. Um, so I'm going to see... I don't know how hard they are going to be to snatch here. I want to see if I can just like grab them every once in a while and like just like fear these guys and clear the path that way. As you wish. 
Where's that other one? It's targeting Tangloth. Oh man, Tangloth's about to die like really fast. Run, Tangloth. <laughs> okay. Is he gonna be able to escape? Oh no, squished. Rip Void Walker. Huh. That that's pretty effective. Now I think we could actually kill these guys, but I don't. I don't actually know if they dropped the thing we did. I'm gonna let's go kill one. Let's just do it. Let's kill this guy right here. Okay, uh, let's just soak up some mana. Okay. Let's see if we can kill these guys. Uh, I, I'm sure we can, as long as we can keep them feared. That's all that really matters. If they're fearable, they're killable. That's that's like the Warlock motto, I swear. Oh, fear broke there, that's not good. Yeah, these are super killable. Like, this is not a problem at all. At least, I don't think so. Whoops, I'm like jumping. I'm gonna fall off this cliff so easily. Let's re- Whoa! What was that? Okay. I definitely just had a lag spike there. Because, like, there's no way that... There's no way... That guy hit me, hit me, and hit me, just back to back to back, and I just died, right? There's no way that just happened. I am positive. I was having a little bit of lag earlier, I noticed, but I'm 100% sure that was caused by a lag spike. Ah, sad times. Well, uh, now that we don't have a soul stone anymore, I'm not going to fight anymore with those guys. Oh, that was scary. All of a sudden, I was like, boom, dead. Well... I kind of think we can actually. We did get two of our frost mall shard, frost mall shards, which is nice, but we need ten. And there's actually one spawn that I know of for sure that is isolated. And like, actually, if you just go hang out there, the frost mall giants don't ever get to you. But the respawn on these things is like, oh, there's another one. Um, the respawn on these things is like ten minutes, I think. It's at least five minutes, but I think it's ten. So if you just like camp out, you can eventually get them just by waiting by one. Like, like for example, this one. It's not the one I would use, but uh, if it was like a little bit farther away, you could just sit there and just loot it every time it spawns, and you'd be totally fine. However, that doesn't work with this guy because he's too close, so it's sad. This rabid shard tooth has a ton of health. Five thousand health is a lot. Wicked claws. We are now full on. I am making a little bit of space here. I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna keep trying to get these things as best I can. Um, I might be able to just grab this one without this guy aggroing me, to be honest. Uh, of course, he scoots over closer. That's gonna be really bad. Okay, we're good. <laughs> that worked out. So yeah, basically, uh, to me, it's easier just to kind of ninja around and steal these things than actually fight those guys head on. But... I don't know. That's that's my personal opinion. Obviously, you know, honestly, I, don't, I bet a lot of classes cannot solo those things. There's no way a lot of classes can because they just they do too much damage. Uh, they hit too hard. They have too much health. They're probably not soloable by most people. But you know, again, as a warlock, we have a few ways to just kind of grab what we need and then run. Such as there's this ice cap. Nah, ice cap is not that useful. Let's find minerals after this. Okay. It would be nice if find minerals would show these things. It kind of seems like they should, right? Or at least it would be reasonable. Ah, the Lorax. I forgot about this guy. The Lorax is named after a Dr. Seuss character. He won't really talk to us if we talk to him. Yeah, that doesn't really make a lot of sense, right? It's in some funky language. He, I think, is only involved in a blacksmithing quest line. I'm not actually 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure, I'm like 90% sure it's a blacksmithing questline, is what he is involved with. Uh, can I get this without aggroing that guy? Oh, Jesus. Of course, if Tangmoth paths that way, then no, I guess I can't. <laughs> Tangmoth takes the worst possible route sometimes, such as life. That's okay. Let's uh, scoot on out of here. We're half done with this quest. Yeah, we're half done. 
So, is there any more this way? I know I missed one back there, but it's kind of guarded by quite a few of these guys. I'd like to try and avoid having to dodge two of them at once. Like, I could fear one and Tangloth could tank the other, but it's a little risky doing that without a soul stone. I'd rather not have any problems. Now, this is... You can see where Frost Whisper Gorge becomes Dark Whisper Gorge, right? Like, this is now Dark Whisper Gorge. Uh, this should complete our... Quest here, I think. Yeah, there we go. Completed. Now, Dark Whisper Gorge. Look at this. Someone's back here. Torn Druid. The Guild of Rage. Can we kill a 57 Elite Demon? I bet we could. Let's try it. Let's just for fun. One of my favorite things about a Warlock is just saying, let's kill the mob and see if we, let's see if we can kill it. Let's see if we can kill this mob. <laughs> I don't know why. I just like, love doing that as a Warlock. Now, my expectation is that this guy's going to hit pretty hard and have a fair amount of health. Um... Oh, yeah, well, I can't fight two of them at once, so we're now definitely bailing out. Now, if that other one, yeah. If one of them had, if we, we could kill one, for sure. I'm, I'm positive we could kill that one, but nope, not two of them. They're <laughs> definitely not going to kill two of them. So now what we're looking for is a few more of these Frost Mall Shards. That would be uh, some nice things to pick up. Uh, I'm going to finish the quest, since I'm down here anyway. There's really no reason for me not to. I think there's one under that guy, right? Or am I... Ah, oh, there's one over here. Okay. So, how do we get this easiest? Uh, maybe come around this side. And then just fear this one. Hopefully he fears to the left and not to the... It's like, as soon as I say, hopefully he fears to the left and not to the right. And then he fears to the left, right. But I think this will be fine. We will re-fear him as soon as we, yeah. I say as soon as we loot that, we're gonna re-fear him. I just gotta get away from him to get out of combat. There's another one to the right we're gonna pick up, and this is all we're gonna do. We're not gonna fight these guys. We are just gonna sneak around and spam fear. Uh, put fear into the heart of giants. That's kind of what we're gonna do. Ah, oh, we aggroed the bear, okay. Let's kill the bear, I think. Yeah, let's kill the bear. I didn't wanna kill the bear, but a necessary, necessary evil. And once the bear is dead, we will move on to getting the little thing back there. This, these bears have so much health. I know they're level 60 mobs, but man, they have a ton of health. Like seriously, it actually takes a while to kill them. <laughs> it's, it takes a decent amount of time. I don't even want to loot those things. I could loot them. I don't want to though, because just like one more thing to throw away in my bags in a moment. Okay. Got it. Almost. Got him. Okay. Now, I don't know have a, I don't have a good escape route for this fear. Like, a lot of times I, I kind of plan out in my head which way I'm going to run after I fear one of these guys, but I didn't really think this one through because I know there's a lot of bears up here. And... Oh my god. Uh... I want to re this guy. Okay. We are running this way, apparently. <laughs> yeah, whoops. That's not working out so well. Tangmoth whacked him once and brought him down 2%. Good job, Tangmoth. Now, truthfully, we could keep circling the way we were going, which I think it might make the most sense. But, on the other hand, I think this these should start respawning soon, at least the, some of the first ones that we've looted. And we only need three more, so if we just kind of mosey back the same way we came, I think we'll find what we need pretty easily. Maybe. Oh wait, I do wonder... Is this better to... yeah, yeah, let's go this way. I already see one over here. I think we can sneak past that guy. This one seems pretty isolated, actually. I don't know if I missed it the first time around, but... Oh no, I've got this one already. Yeah, actually, these do respawn pretty quickly. Uh, yeah. That's right, I did loot this one, but the one to my left is in that, that edge there I skipped. Because I didn't think it was safe enough to get, which I... think was probably a correct assumption. It probably wasn't worth the risk. Oh, man. Um... I need this giant to path a little to the left. I might be able to sneak past him now. Nope, that's not gonna work. 
Fear of it. <laughs> there we go. Now I wonder if Tang Moth can grab this guy for us real quick. All right, hold him for a moment, Tang Moth. Just, just a moment more. Oh dear God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Am I gonna die here? I, I might. Really sticky glue, go. Yes. Look at that. Finally, after, after literally a year and a half of holding that thing in my inventory since like the fall of 2005, I finally used the really sticky glue, and I think it, I think it was useful. I actually think if I didn't use it there. He was going to catch up to me. He was going to hit me. If he would have dazed me, I would have been dead. There's no way I would have survived. And, uh, nope. No death for me. Really sticky glue. Save the day. Okay, we're going to get one more of these, and then we're going to wrap up after that. So we're going to grab the last one we need here. And I didn't reset my hearthstone, unfortunately, to winter spring. I actually kind of like it in Orgrimmar, so maybe it's better where it's at. But uh, we'll grab this last one, and then I will just mosey on up towards towards uh, Everlook. Kind of a run, but we'll mosey on up, and we have at least one quest to turn it up there. The, the, the Denova, eh, I'm stuttering here. The Strange Sources quest is actually back at Denova again, so we'll have to make kind of a run back even farther over here later on. So one bad thing about Winter Spring is that too many quests are at Denova, and it's really annoying because she's really in the middle of nowhere. I mean, she, she really, like, look, wait, this is so isolated over here. Now, some of her quests are in between Felwood and there, which is kind of nice, but eh, for the most part, it's annoying. <laughs> it's just, it really is. It's just a really long run for no good reason, in my opinion. Um, but otherwise, eh, otherwise, Winter Spring's good, but just really Denova being a quest hub all on her own is super frustrating. Everlook itself is actually pretty good, nice located, right? Like, west to the, the west, to the north, to the south. They're all, for the most part, like, Everlook's centrally located, right? And it's a little bit deep to get way down here, but there's not that many quests way down there. So, not a big deal. Um, anyway, so let's, let's, I was gonna end the episode and then turn in the quest next episode, but let's go ahead and drop off our Luck Be With You quest. Now, this quest, what it allows you to do once you turn it in is harvest, uh, Eco, I think it's called, E apostrophe K O, which drop from different mobs. So like the uh, the frost giants down here will drop a certain type. I don't know what this giant pentagram looking, not pentagram, but sorcerer's circle is. Hmm. I sort of remember it, but I'm not sure. Anyway, so, um, what was I saying? Oh, so the Eco, I call him Eco. E apostrophe KO. Uh, there's like six of them. Some of them drop from Furbogs. Some of them drop from the uh, Bears. Some of them drop from Yetis, I think. Some of them drop from the Frost Giants down here. They each have different buffs that, that they give you for sh a short duration. And they're actually farmed frequently for people that are raiding because the buffs are pretty decent. Especially the Frost Mall Echo. Eco? I don't know. Maybe it's Echo. That makes more sense. But I actually don't know what, the, what, what it does. Like, to be honest, I can't remember what the eco or echo whatever you want to call it does as in terms of what the buff itself is but i'm gonna look it up frost mall eco okay what i'm going the wrong way here frost mall eco objective of frost mall echo eco oh it gives you the jujus that's right like juju of might the juju of might increase the tech power by 40 for 10 minutes that's what happens if you... So, it'll all make sense in just a moment. Uh, let me go turn in this quest. And then we'll, then I think, be able to actually start collecting these Ecos or Echoes, whatever they're called. Um, so that's why this quest is nice to do early when you're in Winter Spring. So you'll start collecting some of those extra things along the way for free. Let's be with you. Complete quest. So we got 9500 experience. Now, we need to speak to Witch Doctor Mori again in a moment to receive a Lucky Charms, Cash of Mari. That's what this is, the thing that lets you collect these things. You have to have this in your inventory. Okay, complete quest. Uh, objective complete, maybe? That's kind of weird, uh, it's kind of glitchy there. Okay, there we go. So here, now, okay, got it. As long as we have 
the cache of Mo Mori, Ma Ari, Mari, I don't know how you pronounce her name, in our inventory. If we kill Frost Sabers, for example, we'll get these Frost Saber Ecos, and we can turn those in, and then we get a consumable item as a reward. So it's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven. I thought there were six or seven. It's a really great thing, if you can, to complete that quest early when you start questing in Winter Spring, so that you have um, the ability to collect those things from mobs around the world, or from around the zone. And I forgot about that, actually, when we were doing that first quest here today. I totally forgot about that benefit. Um, but now we have it, so there we go. Anyway, I'm going to do some uh, inventory cleaning here. But that is all for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.